Ooh, here we go. Today, we are going out for some yummy lunch at Duck and Waffle, which I'm very excited about. I think we're gonna do some book shopping, some glasses shopping, because I have had these glasses for over three years and I need a new prescription badly. So we're gonna do that. And then tonight is Anything Goes, hopefully starring Sutton Foster. And my little mind is gonna explode. Honestly, I don't know how it can physically top Frozen though, but I have high hopes. Well, we just quickly went to Ace and Take the Glasses shop because I need them desperately just for a quick look before we went for lunch. But, um, randomly, I came across a friend who I've not spoken to since literally primary school. Really wasn't anticipating to run into someone I knew working there. But it was really nice to see her, but I felt bad because we were literally there for 10 minutes before I was like, we have to leave so we can get to our reservation. But I think we're gonna go back later because I want glasses. <laughs> and I want them from there. I tried on a few pairs and I really liked the vast majority of them and normally in Specsavers I will find literally one pair that I like, so I win. We just finished lunch. I mean, I'd never been there and I had the duck and waffle because I feel like you have to have that when you go to duck and waffle. And it was truly delicious. Would recommend, definitely not something I would have thought goes together, but it really did. And now we're going back to the opticians to hopefully get me some new glasses. Please, I would love sight. <laughs> update on glasses in the next three hours. Fun times, but we're coming to Foils for some book shopping. book shopping bit of a disaster to be honest we were hoping for some offers in foils not a single offer on any books so we thought we'll go to waterstone see if they've got any offers buy one get one half price books were rubbish no good ones there are so many books i want but none of them are on offer and i can't justify buying books that are not on offer at the minute because i've got too many to read already i just wanted some nice new books but it's not meant to be save my money i've just spent money on glasses which we are going to pick up now which i'm very excited about so can't have everything in this world, hey? Well, we just caught the bus back to Liverpool Street. Um, and it was really nice to get the bus, actually. I forget how nice it can be to get the bus in London once you can actually see what's around here, which is exciting for a little tourist like me. So Lisa's gone for a wee in Italy, and I'm going back to Ace and Tate for the third time today but it's finally time to pick up my glasses i deliberated for a while but i picked them i really like them i prefer them to these ones which is always a win because i've had these for so long and they normally take seven to ten days to get them sorted i think but i opted to pay an extra 25 quid to get them ready to go in literally an hour so it took them an hour to make them which is just madness so i'll actually get to see the show tonight i'm just crossing the road trying not to die because yeah in frozen last night there were times when i was like i can't actually see their faces all that well even with my glasses on so i'm excited to have proper good vision uh new glasses who dis <laughs> the new glasses are on they're so thin they are so light and the prescription is a lot stronger uh but it's weird 
Way to like look at myself with new glasses. Mad, um, but I do like them. Don't tell me if you don't like them, because that'll make me sad. The legend, that is my mate Liv, who I know from primary school, who got me my new glasses start to finish. Um, she gave me a free tote bag. I don't know if this is something everyone gets when they go there. <laughs> uh, it probably is, but it's a really nice tote bag. Um, it just has like a nice ampersand on it and it's very heavy duty, like the heavy dutiest tote bag that I have and she gave me too, one for my sister. So, legends. Thank you Ace and Tate. Thank you Liv. Um, <laughs> but I'm just walking back to join my sister now. We're going to grab something quick to eat I think before we head over to the Barbican which is where Anything Goes is playing at the minute. Fingers crossed Sutton Foster is there tonight. It will still be amazing if she's not, but I love you, Sutton. <laughs> so yeah, I'll catch up to you in a minute. Oh, they're having a great time over there. <laughs> We just popped into Italy for some pizza to tide us over because our lunch was very big. But oh my goodness, this looks delish! Arrived at the Barbican, which is um, the ugliest theatre I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> but I feel like they miss made its debut here, so I'll forgive it. And also, we're seeing anything goes here, so I'll forgive it again for that. But it's just not looking too hot, is it? As ugly as I think it is, I do think it's cool that you can walk up here and see into all these really nice modern offices. Feels like you're kind of just, I don't know, in the sky a little bit, which is really nice. You feel like we're in Deathly Hallows part two and I am Dudley Dursley. <laughs> and the dementor is about to come out and suck my lungs out. <laughs> Not my lungs, what do they suck out? Your soul, a bit scarier. Good day to you, sir. <laughs> That's not scary at all. We made it, we successfully found it with a big poster it was a bit of a struggle not gonna lie but to be fair the flowers on the balconies are cute and this little bit by the river is nice and that is a pretty church um that building is ugly though um <laughs> i really was getting worried for a hot second that we were not gonna find the entrance I knew it and was here. when we finally found like the theater bit then it just seemed to be like stalls entrance like barbican make better signs <laughs> But anyway, we're here now and I'm I still haven't processed until to be fair, we've not seen a cast lift yet. So until we oh, see yeah. a cast board that says Sun Foster I can I, I just don't know that it's gonna happen. There's no reason why it shouldn't happen, but I just feel like we've had too much luck so far. We made it, we made it, we made it. These are very high seats, but right in the centre and this bar isn't too obstructive. Good times. Can't wait, let's go! So, it's now the next day. Um, I completely forgot to update the vlog last night when we were still out because obviously once the show finished we just came home and went to bed. Um, but it was amazing. It was so so good. Sutton Foster was in it, thank goodness. And she was just incredible. We both said she just oozed such star quality and every line she delivered it was not how you would have thought she would deliver it but it worked perfectly. And she like threw in some of her like twangs on like when she sang and I was just, I was in my element and the dance was phenomenal. Like the big tap number was everything. There was not as much tap in it as I thought. It was really only the one number, but there was a lot of other styles of dance in it too, which I loved. And we were so high, but it didn't matter. I just adored it. And it was such a classic musical. Um... I loved Frozen though too. I think Frozen had like a more magical quality and because obviously the story means so much to like me and my sister, for that reason it felt more special and it was like more technically magical. Um, but I loved Anything Goes too and I'd love to see them both again like immediately. But I've just uh, rolled up my bed, said goodbye to the deflating air bed and um, now we're gonna head out soon I think. Um, and I think we're gonna head to the opticians again because basically yesterday when I tried them on and I was asked like do you feel like you need any adjustments I didn't think I did um because they seemed to fit around my ears well and like they weren't falling off which was good but throughout the day of wearing them like they really started to hurt behind my ears because I have a fat head so 
I'm gonna try get that adjusted but right next to the opticians that we're going to today is a gorgeous bookshop so I think we're gonna try go there and then we are going for lunch at Davek which is a Korean restaurant and I'm so freaking excited to try all their food um Lisa's boyfriend used to go there all the time because he used to work nearby and he says it's good so I'm really excited to try that food uh but then I don't really know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day after that my train goes at I think like quarter past six or something but I will have to come back and grab all my stuff and then go to the station so I don't really know where the day is going to take me but do come along and I'm sure we'll have a jolly old time <laughs> miso soup to start with which I've never had before so I hope I like it <laughs> part two dumplings yum oh my god this is some ginormous bin bap we were too busy scoffing our faces but the set menu also came with three pieces of KFC we got so we got two yang yum and one soy garlic and they are so good So we finished up at Daybeck and it was absolutely amazing but I am stuffed within an inch of my life. I am so, so full. Um, but I, we quickly went to this little uh, like hidden park bit down in Vauxhall and it was really nice. Um, but then I had to say goodbye to Lisa and my sister because um, they're going off to do something else this afternoon. But I've just come to St James's Park just for a chill. I was sitting in a deck chair until I saw a man coming round charging people for sitting in those deck chairs at which point I promptly left so um, I think I'm gonna go get some bubble tea now just because I really want some and I'm probably gonna come back here sit in a shaded spot on the floor not in a deck chair read for a bit maybe I'll walk through the park maybe I'll go see Buckingham Palace because why not um I've seen it many times before but I figured I could just do it when I'm here but I'll see how I feel um because I am absolutely knackered and I've got about an hour and 45 minutes I'd say until I probably need to leave so I'm gonna make the most of it and the bubble tea I'm going to is up on Shaftesbury Avenue which is the best street because it is just all the theatres so I'll be quite happy walking along there anyway but let's go I just realized that before I think I said I was in St James's Park I was not. I was in Green Park. I don't know why I got confused because I literally got off at the tube stop, Green Park. Don't know what happened in my brain there, but I went and got my bubble tea. Uh, not much remains, but it is very tasty. And I think it will be my new go-to just because I don't like iced coffee because I don't like coffee, but this is a good alternative. So I think I shall be having it more often. Um, but I just walked back to Green Park and then all the way through Green Park I've just come for a sit down now, I think I'm gonna read, but I thought I'd walk all the way through because then at least I can read my book 
with a lovely view of Buckingham Palace like a true and proper tourist. I'm just gonna sit and read Michelle Obama's autobiography which is so good so so good and have a nice time by myself <laughs> Well, I just left the park after a lovely little read, as you can see, on the escalators, going down into the tube to go grab my suitcase and then make my way to Euston Station. So I will catch up with you in a quick second when I finally end the vlog. Sad! Well, I just thought I'd pick up the camera here just as I'm walking to pick up my case because after this I'm literally hopping on a tube and then a train so I didn't think there was too much worth showing you from that. Thank you so much if you've stuck around and watched the whole vlog, I really do appreciate it. Um, please do give it a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more content if it's not already uploaded when this video goes up, a life update is coming because I do have lots to tell you about. Um, I just haven't got around to it yet. <laughs> I've honestly had such a lovely weekend. It's been so nice to be back in London for the first time since February 2020. And to see shows, I just love shows. So I really have had the best weekend. It's been really great, full of loads of food, musical numbers and magic. Um, thanks to Lisa, my sister, for letting me sleep on her floor for free. And um, that's all I have to say really. So I'll see you all next time. Bye.